So all of the cool kids over on TikTok are eating a couple of large carrots every day in the hopes of getting a tan. I can't make this stuff up. Do not make me say it again. Three large carrots a day and you can change your natural undertone. This is literally the skin that I was born with and this is me with no fake tanner. I have been eating three large carrots a day for the past few years. It changes everything, trust me. Like literally you're gonna glow from the inside out. Love ya. <laughs> You never know what you're going to encounter on that app. Is there any truth to this? Will eating several large carrots a day give you a tan? The short answer is no. However, eating carrots can lead to a skin color change referred to as keratinoderma, which is a yellowish orange hue to the skin in the setting of keratinemia. Keratinemia is a fancy medical term for when beta carotene levels in the blood are much higher than the normal range. Beta carotene is a carotenoid. Carotenoids include not only beta carotene, but alpha carotene, lutein, lycopene, and canthaxanthin. They're naturally found in our foods, and they can influence our skin color and our skin tone. Importantly, carotenoids from our diet are a precursor to vitamin A, aka retinol. Carotenoids are absorbed in our small intestine, and the majority of conversion to vitamin A occurs in the mucosa. Everything else makes its way to the liver. In order to convert carotenoids to vitamin A, you need a few players. You need pancreatic lipase, which is an enzyme made by your pancreas. You need fat, you need bile salts, and you need thyroid hormone. Carotenoids are removed from the body in your urine, in your stool, in your sweat, and in your sebum, aka the oil that your skin produces. When you take in high amounts of beta carotene, it can cause a yellowish orange discoloration of the skin. That's again called keratinoderma. This first presents on the palms, the soles, around the nose, and then gradually can spread to involve larger areas of the skin of the body. The reason it's most obvious on the palms and soles is because it is excreted in your sweat. You have a high density of sweat glands on the palms and soles and the uh, beta carotene sticks there because you have a very thick stratum corneum that's the top layer of the skin so that is where it first shows up you also see it in the area around the nose and the nose itself because that is an area where you have a very high density of oil glands here's an important point about keratinoderma you don't have any stratum corneum in the whites of your eyes or in your mucosa. Stratum corneum is just that top most differentiated layer of the epidermis. It is absent in the whites of your eyes and in the mucosal surfaces. So you will not see yellowing of the eyes and you will not see yellowing of the mucosal membranes with keratinoderma. And that's important because you can also turn yellow if you have jaundice. If you get jaundice, that's a problem with your liver. Not only does your skin turn yellow, but so do the whites of your eyes and the mucosa. It's most obvious under the tongue. The yellowish orange discoloration is a lot more obvious in people who have a paler skin tone. People who have a deeper skin tone, keratinoderma is a lot more subtle. It's most obvious on the palms and soles. Again, stratum corneum there is quite thick. However, the skin, like on your face, might actually appear lighter. So deeper skin tones, it does not really look yellowish orange when you have high levels of beta carotene in the body. It's more of a lightening of your background skin. This particular TikTok trend is focused on eating carrots, but you can develop keratinoderma from eating other carotene rich foods. Carotene rich foods are those that have a bright yellowish orange appearance or those that are brightly green. Mango, papaya, pumpkin, other squashes, sweet potato, broccoli, and spinach. Broccoli and spinach have a high amount of carotene, but that color, that orange yellow color is masked by the chlorophyll, which gives them a green color. But you can get keratinoderma from eating a lot of spinach or a lot of broccoli. You're not gonna get a tan, you're gonna turn orange. Eating carrots is not gonna give you a natural looking tan. It will make you yellowish orange. So if anything, you're going to have the appearance of a fake tan gone wrong. And that includes yellowish orange palms and soles and a yellowish orange nose. I don't really think that that's what people are going for. All that being said, I won't completely dismiss what they're saying here because yes, Carotenoids do play a role in your background skin color, but to what extent that's going to show up, it's definitely not going to give you a tan. 
but it may bring out your natural radiance and natural glow. And I do encourage people to eat fruits that are carotenoid rich because Studies show that diets rich in fruits and vegetables actually help people's skin handle the negative consequences of ultraviolet radiation from the sun much better. Uh, and that includes lycopene rich foods as well. So eating a balanced diet rich in fruits and vegetables is very skin health and total body health forward. So I'm not going to poo poo that, but don't expect to get any sort of tan in your skin. So eating a couple of carrots a day is unlikely to get you to the point of keratinoderma, unlikely to tan your skin, but may, you know, help enhance your own radiant glow through the effects of carotenoids and may also be beneficial for helping your skin handle environmental stressors better. Of course, always protect your skin with a broad spectrum sunscreen and sun protective clothing. But that being said, who gets keratinoderma? Like, is it just people who really, really love carrots and eat too many? Keratinoderma can be broken down into primary keratinoderma, secondary keratinoderma, and metabolic keratinoderma. Primary keratinoderma occurs because you took in too many beta carotene rich food. You wanna know who we see keratinoderma in a lot? Babies who are being introduced to food for the first time, starting with baby foods like pureed pumpkins, squash, carrots. These baby foods are actually very rich in beta carotene because they're steamed and pureed that enhances the bioavailability of the beta carotene. And the baby's palms and soles turn yellowish orange and oftentimes they have a little yellow nose as well. You will also see a lot of primary keratinoderma if you visit West Africa because in West Africa they utilize red palm oil quite a bit in their diet and red palm oil is very beta carotene rich. And of course from time to time you can see it in people who eat a plant-based diet, they're getting a lot of beta-carotene rich foods. Preparing beta-carotene rich fruits and vegetables in certain ways, again, can enhance the bioavailability. So you will see this a lot from time to time in people who do consume a plant-based or plant-heavy diet. That's primary carotenoderma. You also have secondary carotenoderma. Secondary means it occurs secondary to an underlying medical condition. You can develop carotenoderma as a result of diabetes, low thyroid hormone, hypothyroidism, liver disease, kidney disease, and you also can develop it with certain psychiatric conditions. Then you have metabolic keratinoderma, the, a rarer form, and basically that is referring to people who are born with a problem metabolizing beta carotene. How is this diagnosed? You walk into a, a, your doctor's office, they should be able to diagnose it from history just by looking at you. You know, they look at your eyes, they look at the mucosal membranes, and those are not this yellow color. They look at your palms, your soles, you know, they put things together, they ask you about your diet, and you know, generally speaking, that's how the diagnosis is made. If you look at blood work of somebody who has uh, keratinoderma, their liver function is perfectly normal. They may have slightly elevated vitamin A levels, but by and large, the vitamin A levels are perfectly normal. And they also have an increased level of beta carotene in the blood. You can also get a yellowish orange discoloration from excessive intake of uh, foods rich in lycopene, another carotenoid. So that would be another reason, like if you were just eating a lot of tomatoes. Is this safe though? Is it safe to be consuming carrots? Yes, I mean, unless you have some underlying health reason not to eat carrots and you've been told to avoid them like an allergy, eating carrots is generally accepted as a healthy part of a balanced diet. Um, I know there's a lot of popular diet ideas out there on social media, but by and large, carrots are considered a healthy food and I encourage people to eat them as part of a balanced diet so long as you like them. If you don't like them, don't eat them. There are plenty of other carotenoid rich foods out there that you can incorporate into your diet. But if you develop carotinoderma, is that deadly? No, not at all. It's, it's, not, it's not so bad. It's reversible and it does not have any negative consequences to your health. It, it's reversible when you cut back on consuming those beta carotene rich foods uh, to you know just dial it back and it will slowly reverse. It takes a couple of months for it to go away but it will go away. What about vitamin A toxicity? You know, th this is a precursor to vitamin A and I've warned about the adverse effects of getting too much vitamin A, a fat soluble vitamin in your diet. I caution against taking vitamin A supplements unless you've been told to by your healthcare provider because it can really cause a lot of adverse effects, including super dry skin. But what about eating beta carotene rich foods? Can that cause high vitamin A levels that dry out your skin and cause liver failure? No. The conversion of beta carotene to vitamin A 
is so slow. And again, your body has ways to remove the excess uh, carotene, so it, it keeps it in balance, it keeps it in check. Hypervitaminosis A, toxic levels of vitamin A from eating foods rich in carotenoids, it's, it doesn't happen. Now there are tanning pills out there, and I say that in air quotes because these are not prescription medications. These are, you know, gimmicky stuff that they sell you online, supplements uh, to, you know, quote unquote, give you a tan. Some of these tanning pills have very high amounts of the carotenoid canthaxanthin, and that can actually cause harmful effects to the retinas in your eyes, retinopathy. It's reversible, but that doesn't come from eating carotenoid rich foods. Take home points. Consuming beta carotene rich foods can turn your skin yellowish orange. It's not harmful, it's not dangerous. You're not gonna get hypervitaminosis A or vitamin A toxicity from eating carotenoid rich foods, but it is unlikely to give you a tan. If you want a tan, the safest way to do it is to use a sunless tanner. Uh, they are safe to apply to the skin and of course protect your skin from the sun. There is no such thing as a safe UV mediated tan, whether that be UV rays from the sun or UV rays from a tanning bed. Is eating a couple of carrots a day harmful? No, but I do think, you know, people pursue these different trends and they should be clear on what is is true and what is not. All right, y'all, that is Caratina Derma, TikTok trend turned into an educational teaching lecture. <laughs> I know some of you guys just want to cut to the chase in these videos and you're like, I don't want to hear all of the science talk. Uh, anyway, y'all, uh, speaking of foods and skin, on the end slate, I'm going to put my video talking all about the skin benefits of incorporating almonds into your diet, provided you're not allergic to them. So check that one out next. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.